first impression was uh, good weather and good people, and it's so nice. Actually, in the beginning, because of the news, um, the, you know, just a few years ago, the client in Kiev had a problem, and then, yes, I feel more feel uncomfortable, or people's the face are more serious or something like that, but people smiling and then, like, relaxing. Japanese artist Miyazaki Kanushki arrived to Ukraine within the Ukrainian mural project Over the Wall. Its main task is to unite the world with the help of art. Moreover, murals or wall paintings are a way to convey a certain message to people. I thought uh, I'm going to do this kind of project all over the world. Um, even different country or different religion or different people, but we can join together. This time was from UNHCR, the staff named Chida. She asked me to come to here. We started to search about Ukraine from one year ago. UNHCR uh, was thinking to support us to do this project with refugees and the IDPs people. So I thought it's a uh, you know the very big message like as a peace and uh, like a people join together. The fresco painted in the Ukrainian capital became not only a message of peace but also a memorandum of friendship between Japan and Ukraine. Therefore the artist depicted the symbol of his motherland, the Sakura, behind which children of different nations are peacefully playing together. This time the mural is uh, about the 25th anniversary Japan and Ukraine's relationship. So this tema is about, uh, uh, of course, Japan and Ukraine. Like I draw uh, many kinds of people um, and many kinds of uh, religion people. I paint that together. So like, uh, uh, have solidarity, like uh, people live together, it's make happy together. Usually artists have to make by them, himself, but my style is always uh, make together. Of course I make uh, my own paintings at my atelier. At the moment, of course I can feel satisfied, but uh, the mural is a little bit different because this is kind of uh, public art, right? People are living here, people are watching the mural every day. So here is a, uh, there is a life and their life. So my idea is I shouldn't paint uh, just only my feeling, yeah? Like I have to think about their life and lifestyle and uh, how they think if I paint this one or yeah, such kind of things. Children who live in this country or here, then he adds some paintings, then maybe they will think, ah, this is my painting. It's much better to keep my mural. A mural as an art form has become highly popular in Ukraine in recent years. The 24-meter labyrinth mural appeared among the 10 most popular street art objects in the world, together with wall paintings in Naples, Egypt and Belgium. I was so surprised, <laughs> because uh, from airport to here, I could see many, many big murals. So, yeah, I asked the people, maybe someone is organizing, right? So, yeah, it's very good. Uh, a yeah, good project, I think. I want to join. In Japan, it's a little bit difficult to make confirm that how, ca uh, how can I paint or... It's not so free, so, so it, there's not so many mirrors. In Japan, we can see art only in the museum. Usually, not many people go to museum, right? So people don't see real art uh, in their life. But I want them to see on the street, on, on their life. So mural is very good uh, way to show and the, way, uh, the good way to combine the, uh, the usual life and the art. 
More than 100 refugee children and disabled children participated in the creation of the Kiev mural. They became more familiar with the world of art, together with the Japanese artist, over four days. I do like same project as a Kenya, and uh, I paint one big mural with children, and after that I do the workshop. We paint together, and after that, like this, like we exhibit the children's paintings and then try this. Because um, my first experience when I go to Kenya, actually at the moment I couldn't talk with them at all because the uh, language is different and the face is different. So actually a little bit difficult to make communicate with them. But uh, when I start painting, the people love my painting, so they start to paint together. First we just talk and we just pray, but uh, the last day we start to talk more a little bit like deep topic, uh, where did you come from, or how is your situation? And then some of kids said, uh, still he's finding his parents. He haven't met for more than one, one year. So I want them to use many colors and then vivid colors because uh, colorful paintings make them happy as well. I ask them to try to make vivid colors. Then maybe they feel much more happier, so. The artist's visit to Ukraine was his first experience on a journey to Eastern Europe. The artist had an opportunity to communicate with local citizens and better understand and also become acquainted with Ukrainian national cuisine, everyday life and traditions. I feel very comfortable when I'm in Ukraine. I travel many countries and then, uh, yeah, for example, in Africa, uh, people are so kind, people are so nice. Sometimes uh, I couldn't feel very comfortable, but in Ukraine, people, the, the way to think is a bit similar, I thought. And uh, they, they can understand the concept, why I'm doing the mural project. I explained uh, many people in here. Uh, yeah, most of the people are very accessible, and uh, yeah, they're supporting my project. But I think Ukraine, uh, has a history of the art, so they know what is art, and then they really appreciate yes. So it's very close, I guess, Japan and Ukraine. For the second part of the working trip, the Japanese artist spent the second part of the working trip in Mariupol. After all, it is still not calm in the east of Ukraine. He wanted to remind people of the importance of peace and solidarity with the help of his art. A house shelled by terrorists in 2014 was the object of his painting. We start to move to Mariupol, then stay three weeks, and uh, uh, the place is the school number 68 and there's a very big mural. The size is 8 meter by 12 meter. We paint with uh, the people, but not children because it's too big. So we uh, employed uh, IDPs, people, workers. This time the children paintings are very you know, colorful. This Ukrainian mural project, Over the Wall, unites children and adults, who thus not only decorated their native cities, but also conveyed the message of peace, goodness and friendship. In my opinion, but uh, the art uh, don't need uh, the language. And then sometimes when we talk, uh, even spend a long time, but uh, sometimes misunderstand. But uh, about art, it's just a feeling. And my painting is, the tema is uh, super happy. So always paint like a people cheer up or people make happy. So it's very easy. I guess if I show my uh, uh, my paintings, like people don't think it's just an image, but uh, people make happy. It's much easy and much don't need to explain anymore. Just see, it, it's art. Miyazaki plans to return to Ukraine in a few years. After all, murals require constant care. However, the most important thing for the artist is that he met here many friends and like-minded people who appreciate and understand this art. <laughs>